in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen lord jesus we thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us we thank you for the lovely people who have gathered here lord it is not by chance but by choice we are here to know you to seek you to have a relationship with you lord jesus jesus you are the word that word that became flesh 2000 years ago that word that is still living and active you are that same word as it is written in hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 the word of god is alive and active powerful just like a two edged sword it pierces that word that pierces our heart brings healing brings restoration brings blessing in our lives lord holy spirit thank you for making these truths very simple and easy to understand take complete authority of this entire zoom session take complete authority of our minds and our vocal cords so that let every word that is spoken be of yours and nothing of ours lord amen praise god thank you jesus okay so sister lovely would you like to share something carry on sister i will uh... Uh, add in when uh, you know i'll just back you up yes yes sure no problem praise god thank praise you jesus okay so can somebody tell me what is the definition of faith faith is something that has no physical evidence okay and that is or uh, it is uh, something that is spiritual yeah praise god faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things which are not seen that is hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 okay faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things which are not seen so many a times our problems our difficulties they are seen or they are unseen seen they are seen right but what is not seen faith is not seen but just like you know and sometimes it gets very hard to believe so, you know have you ever found there are people who say you know um, please pray that i get faith it's hard for me to believe i wish i had the faith i wish i had that same faith that you have have you ever experienced that while talking to people yes sister praise god so now i want to ask each and every one of you all do you all breathe air you all breathe oxygen right and that air that oxygen cannot be seen but still because of that oxygen our lungs are getting filtered and we are breathing right praise god just a minute. praise god thank you jesus so um as i was telling that this oxygen that we breathe but we cannot see yet we know that we are you know uh, getting we are breathing because of that in the same way this word of god too is alive and active it cannot be seen this faith cannot be seen but it is the basis on which this entire universe came into existence praise god thank you jesus 
Sian, would you like to add something here? Uh, praise God. Yeah. Um, sorry, I came a bit late. Um, but yeah, faith is like the unseen. Oxygen you can't see, but you are, you're, you are very much dependent on it. And it's, it's like the word of God. Yeah. Praise God. You can't live without it. Yeah. Oxygen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So this faith is a spiritual evidence. This faith is something that cannot be seen. But this is the same faith that pleases God. Okay? So if you want to please God, you don't have to fast. You don't have to pray. You don't have to do a hundreds of things. All you need to do is believe. All you need to do is have faith. Because Hebrews 11.6 says, it is impossible to please God without faith. Praise God. I'll just put that scripture. Yes, Sian, you can read this. But without faith, it is impossible to walk with God and please him. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Praise God. Now, Sian, I want to ask you this. The day you, you know, started in faith to minister to people around you, at that point of time, how was how is the situation and how is it right now? Do you see a change? Praise God. Yeah. Um, before I was very um, uncertain. I didn't have much confidence. I knew the word, but you know, when someone asked me questions, I didn't say it with com confidence or I didn't, you know, I didn't trust the word of God. But now that, you know, I constantly listen and I apply and I speak the word of God, my confidence has increased tenfold where I, I, my confidence is completely dependent on the word of God and I know it will not fail. It will never fail. So yeah, praise God. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, praise God. Praise God. Why? Because on the first day when the challenges were there, you were new to the word and, you know, people were asking questions. And at that point of time, it would have been discouraging. It would have been, you know, disappointing, right? At, on the first day. But what you know is that the word of God is in the form of seed, time, and harvest. So you did not give up. Because Galatians 6 verse 9 says, Do not be wary. For, you know, the person who sows shall definitely reap the harvest if he does not give up, if he doesn't faint. You did not faint. Though the physical was showing you a lot of things, you said, no, I will still continue. I will still continue with this session because this is my love walk with Jesus. This is my love walk with the Lord. And that is the reason whether one person comes or whether 10 comes, it doesn't matter. But I will continue in the word. And as you started going more and more, you started seeing grace. You started seeing the favor of God. You started seeing the Holy Spirit coming to your rescue. Isn't it? Yeah, praise God. Yeah, it became, uh, you know, you can hear God's voice. Uh, and, it's, and, you know, it's amazing. Yeah, praise God. And now I, when someone asks me a question about God, I can, you know, just open my mouth and say the word of God because, you know, it is in my heart and, you know, I'm so confident on the word of God that it's just beautiful. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And if I have to ask you, what is the basis? What is on what basis you decided to start this session? You took a step in faith. And that faith is gotten you into this position that you are today, where you are confidently speaking the word. 
praise god thank you jesus so what what i'm trying to say in today's session is that in our lives okay when we start our journey with the lord we may not be perfect we may make mistakes but if we do not give up and we continue to water the seeds of the word of god that we are planting daily in our hearts and we take a step in faith god takes 10 steps towards us i'll show that scripture to you all which says that draw near to god and god will draw near to you i'll just put that scripture praise god James 4.8. Thank you, Jesus. I just put the King's James Version. Thank you Jesus. Sister Lovely, can you read it? Sure sir. Sure sister. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. Praise God. Praise God. so this is a very powerful scripture that is speaking to all of us including me that says when you draw near to god god will draw near to you many a times we want it vice versa right we want god to draw near us and then we will draw near to him what do you say sister lovely yeah we were uh, we were trying to uh, you know define god with our physical senses uh especially uh, like you know in our life we you know we are like you know considering god as a human like you know as you know we get to hear the voice of the human we understand you know we listen uh, we communicate so that is where you know we had gone wrong god was already there but we were not feeling it it was because we were not in a correct uh, you know uh, understanding we did not had that correct understanding uh, and the lack of knowledge Uh, regarding the word of god which has happened you know that and i've always experienced that if we take one step god takes rest 99 steps for you praise god praise <laughs> god absolutely absolutely yes. because and in my yeah one one testimony i would like to give is uh when i started you know um, giving tight uh it was like you know starting from a certain amount but it was like uh, in one rate rate i heard that uh, yeah your heart intention matters when you give the tithe though it is a, if it is 100 rupees though it is 5% 10% 20% whatever but the heart intention matters and i started uh, you know putting it uh, exactly like you know uh, like you know every month i used to be uh, regularly in uh, putting that uh, thing Uh, keeping it aside and uh, depositing it into transferring it into account so uh, li- gradually i saw that that other 90% savings increased from where how i don't know like you know it was not a fixed uh, amount which i used to put every time it changes so the the people who, i mean whom i used to give they used to ask me uh, there is no means like you know fixed amount because i'm a salaried person so you know salaried persons always the salary uh, should be same but somewhere or other i used to get bonus gratuity increment and god blessed me so much i felt that god i gave you 10 but you gave me 90% you know that's how it works thank you jesus praise god sister because there is a system you know how much is 10 minus 7 sister 3 that is what the world teaches you 
yes formulas <laughs> yeah the world according to the word of god 10 minus 7 is 700 Thanks give God. Yes. and it shall be given unto you so yes, first that's right. you gave and when you gave you didn't give with the intention that I'm giving because I want God to give me you gave no not at all not at all you gave because you wanted to give Whole yes I wanted to discipline myself you know like I was thinking you know I should be able to give you know where I'm wrong I have to correct myself so I used to give to teach myself to discipline myself I started doing that praise God and God, see, yeah. the word of God came true. It became flesh in that area. When you started yes. giving, whatever you gave, much more than that you re received. Yes, yes. Thank Praise you. God. Every word, every word that is written in the word of God is a promise. It is alive. It is active. In each one of our lives, it is active. And every day in the class, what we ha have to do is just renew our minds. Renew our minds. Get our focus from things of the world onto the things in the word of God. Set your, set your focus not on the things of this world, but set your focus on the things above. Praise God. Because Matthew 6.21 says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Right? Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Sian, would you like to share something here? Uh, no prayer. Um, no questions. Okay. Anything coming to your mind? Um, just... Um... It spoke to me a lot, this class, because um, I was also, you know, beginning uh, this time last year. So, you know, from where to where God has put me, it's, uh, yeah, it's all based on faith and the trust that I had in him. So it was, um, yeah, a good uh, refresher, I would say. Praise God. Praise uh, God. You know, Priya, Sister yes. Priya. I would like to add, you know, I was just thinking that why uh, Sister Priya keeps asking questions and, you know, keep uh, asking that if you, if somebody would like to add anything, uh, you know, I was thinking about it. I was just pondering and, you know, just, this thing came into my mind, you know, why are we here actually? What is the purpose of this class? You know, we are contributing a little bit time from our busy schedules. We could have gone to, like, you know, use this time for any other worldly things. But we are using this time to share the messages to the sisters here, you know, and we are inviting more and more people. So have you ever thought what is the purpose of this, you know, class? Sister, this, you know, this was just a step in faith, sister. I just, you know, uh, whatever little I received... I wanted to share it. Like the desire was put in my heart by the Lord. And I said, I will just take a session. And it just started with me sharing my testimony. So praise God. I will share how this all started. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank so you, Jesus. this was last year in the month of June. Okay. Uh, okay. When I came out of depression and I started getting into the word. But at that point, I had still not shared my testimony on Zoom, okay? Right. So I, I was listening more and more uh, in the class and I to look forward to the Melbourne session, which was in, late in the night at one o'clock Indian time. Okay, Brother Linus uh, is taking, right? Yes. That class? Yeah. Yes, yeah. that class. And there people, you know, uh, they used to pray in tongues and after that, there was like some 15 minutes allotted for testimonies. And after that, uh, Papa would take the class. So I was like, you know, now I want to share my testimony here. And okay. when I shared my testimony of, you know, uh, how that Isaiah 43 one spoke to me and how I came out of depression and how I'm feeling so blessed right now, that is the time Papa prophesied to me saying that, you know, 
you have been comforted by the lord and with that same comfort that you have received you're going to comfort people you're going to minister to uh, people in the you know di- across the different parts of the world through the phone yes. itself true and that encouraged me so i at that point of time i did not know as many scriptures as i know today but with that one testimony of mine i just kept on sharing it with anybody whom i met and in faith yes, i started taking the class and um, like i just started the zoom class properly like last year in the month of april and uh, that time i had uh, gotten my results and i shared my testimony again on jclm that's the time you know i got connected to more and more people so supernaturally god you know provided got me connected to different people to whom uh, you know who have started attending these sessions and i do not even know how how did this happen that is the best part so exactly it was just a seed that was planted in my heart because when i came into the word initially i never had a uh, you know a desire or a thought in my head that okay i'm going to take bible classes now it was never there in my heart but as i started uh, listening more and more to the word and that is the time papa planted that seed and that seed you know was there deep in my heart and that seed which was deep in my heart it became it became true it became a life that it word. became flesh it became flesh you can say right <laughs> yes sister so yes. that is that is the basis you know that is where god has led me today and that's exactly. where i'm meeting you sister and meeting sian i'm meeting sister maria and many others praise god <laughs> yes so that's the uh, thing i wanted to share here you know we are you know chosen uh, people of god like you know uh, there is the scripture na many are invited but few are chosen right so we are the chosen people he has blessed us with his gospel with his holy spirit we have received it and now it is our job to multiply it because we are working in the kingdom of god you know there are so many souls around us who need help you know the people who go into depression till what you know extent they uh, go we can never imagine also it can take them to take the step of suicide or you know go mentally retarded or maybe like you know some paralytic related issues it can lead to anybody you know anything so god is using uh, each one of us here powerfully so that we can work for his kingdom when we we see this prayer remember god with jesus taught our father who is in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven right yes sister okay. so this is our purpose over here when our sisters like me like you many others are uh, listening to this we are learning we are sharing word of god we are sharing our knowledge with each other whatever classes we attend whatever holy spirit reveals to us and we are giving our times why so that we work in this kingdom and we help we are you know contributing to multiply it thank you jesus praise you jesus praise god and another thing i would like to add sister is that you know jesus came and he used to you know preach to a large gathering a multitude yes. but only 12 people he chose to become his disciples but he had and anointed he had given his anointed on i think 70 or something right like i remember you um, like you know there was uh, some number uh, of the yes, people yes. whom hmm, he had anointed but 12 were the one which remained and you know but with those 12 people also it was yes. sufficient yes. you know And yes it was know, powerful sister? and you know sister why it uh, multiplied with those 12 apostles there's a scripture in acts okay and the church multiplied under the power of the holy spirit yes i'll just uh, put that scripture praise sure god. sister praise god okay 
Acts 9.31. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes, Sister Lovely, you can read this. So the church throughout Judea and Galilee and Samaria enjoyed peace without persecution, being built up in wisdom, virtue, and faith, and walking in the fear of the Lord, and in the comfort and encouragement of the Holy Spirit, it continued to grow in numbers. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, That's that happening. Thing happening. Yes. Yes. You boosted my confidence yesterday. You know, when you asked me to take the class, it was just five minutes hardly I got, you know. So that yes. time I would, I was tempted to say no. Because, you know, I don't know. I would be like a fool speaking. I felt, you know, that moment. But I said, no, God for you, I will do this. Though it is like, you know, it, it may sense a fool, foolishness for anybody, somebody else. But I will take this uh, opportunity when Sister Priya encouraged me, boosted me, pushed me. Because here I'm learning and I will be helping others, other souls, you know, to get connected to God, to bring from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Praise God. Praise Does God. it make sense? Absolutely, Sister. And yes. Sister, you realized the potential that God has put in you. Of course. Of course, that, I realized. And that is the best part, sister. The day we start realizing what God has put in us, that potential, we have to, you know, make the best use of it. Now, exactly. see these apostles, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came upon them. They started praying in tongues. There was anointing and everything. But imagine if they had to make the decision to remain there only feel yes. nice in the comfort of their room and not step exactly. out. Exactly, exactly. The church wouldn't grow. Today, True. you, me, and all others in this group are the church. We Praise are the God. Body. Yes, and, amen. And as a born-again Christian, we have a mission. Each one of us has an assignment. So today, all of us, including me, needs to ask ourselves this question are we going out in faith are we stepping out in faith at least to find at least one soul you know it yes. can be in different ways it need not be that okay in this way only that okay i have to take a session bible class or something maybe you no. can just go out and you know just help somebody as sister lovely beautifully said you can give a tight thing or you can just uh, go and speak comforting words to somebody who's sick you know exactly you, exactly you just go in faith and see how the holy spirit is going to you know and again as i said it's a daily process consistent uh, you know uh, consistency is needed like every day when you get up you thank god with you know you should have that gratitude in your heart that lord thanks for this day and you have to pray to the holy spirit about your assignment of the day and that is how Holy Spirit will lead you because, you know, a word of God says harvest is ready, but laborers are few. So he need laborers like you, me, Sister Cian, and everybody else over here. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. That is exactly what God wants each one of us to do. You know, you can just go in faith because that power is given to you and me because in Mark 16, verse 17 to 18, let's put that scripture. Today, a lot of truth is going to come out. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sian? Yes, Priya. You can read this. Yes. These signs will accompany those who have believed. 
In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they, and they will get well. So these signs will accompany only the only the preacher. No, those who have believed in Jesus. Praise God. Those who have believed. You believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. All of us here believe in Jesus. So yes. if we believe in Jesus, come on, let us put our faith in action and go and, you know, just pray over somebody. We just Amen. have to pray in faith. It's the Holy Spirit who's going to do the miracle. We don't exactly. have to do the miracle. We just have to open our mouth and speak this word. Speak the word. And the yes. Holy Spirit will, you know, make it happen. These yes, times. ensure. Ensure yes. to make it happen. Praise Jesus. Praise Where is this Mark? Yes, it's Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18. Praise God. Thank you. Praise so, God. So, so, Sister Sian, does it make sense to you, these things? Whatever we spoke right now? Uh, yes, Sister. Yes. Praise God. So, everybody is welcome to share. We can, you know, this platform, Holy Spirit is our teacher. Here we are learners. We are sharing our knowledge, what Holy Spirit is teaching us. And we are bringing out, you know, to the assignments that God will be giving, Holy Spirit will be giving to us by, speak, by using the scriptures, by holding on to the word. Praise God. Praise God. And you know, in Mark chapter 15, it is said, and he said, he has been Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. This is not a gift. This is a command. This is a command for everyone. Everyone who's born again, you and me, we have to preach the good news of the Lord. And it can be your very own testimony. That is the living gospel. You know, when you start in faith, you start with your testimony. Today, exactly. people don't want to know the gospel of Mark, Luke, John. They want to know the gospel of Sister Lovely. They want to know the gospel according to Sister Sian. They want to know gospel according to Priya. Because that is what is going to, you know, get them closer to God. Yes, Praise we God. are we are witnesses to a living God. That, you know, by faith, yes, God performs, uh, you know, miracles in our life. There is physical manifestation in our lives. Uh, sister, yesterday after speaking to you, I mean, after taking the class, speaking to you, I worked till 3 a.m. in the morning. You know, I could sleep for a few hours only. But today I, I was not even feeling tired and I was so enthusiastically waiting for your class to start. You know, I wanted to like, you know, share and speak up. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Sister, that is the fire. That is the yes. spirit, you know. He is exactly giving your hunger for the word of God. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Sian, would you like to share something on this? Um no, Freya, I don't have anything to share. Okay, praise God. Sister Maria? No, sister. Okay. Praise God. Uh, welcome to the group, Sister Kavita. So nice to have you here. If anybody has any testimonies, like any testimonies, you can share, you know, that happened. It can be a small thing to anything. And also, if there is any, uh, like, you know, issues uh, that you're facing or problems, we are definitely here, you know, to, you know, it's like one candle lighting another candle. So we are here to build up our faith and helping each other to build up. There are times, you know, when we fall into uh, temptations, we are, uh, you know, in stronghold of addictions. There are, you know, in certain areas of our lives. 
so here we can help each other to build up and as well as when we step into out into the world into our situations and our challenges we can definitely be an example to others but by how we you know how by scriptures by the power of god by by the power of the holy spirit we came out of our problems and this can definitely help others as well and they also get connected to god by you know by becoming an example before others so please please speak up praise god thank, thank you jesus. jesus another thing another thing i would like to you know share is when we have an assignment that you know that is in our heart we need to have an imagination a vision of that yes we may not know how it's going to manifest like who am i going to minister last year when i started the session you know the first student in my class was my mother and yes, God. i ministered to different people over this entire one year uh, you know the the people i have ministered to are different but the best part is it is growing and now Amen. the people whom i minister to are going and sharing the word to others what can be better than that exactly i am also one of the example sister i was not you know even talking uh, on, on the day one if you see and today <laughs> you know i'm not sister. shutting my mouth <laughs> praise god praise god sister because you have received this living waters that is flowing yes, from you and that living waters it's like you can't keep it to yourself you're so exactly much exactly you are like you know so filled with those words in uh, spirit that you want to you know when it like you know uh, when the bucket overflows it goes out the water goes out same way like my spirit uh, is overflowing into my body and then my body to others so this is how it works praise god praise jesus so beautiful thank you jesus and when we start reaching out to other people we start going in faith that is the time we start experiencing the fullness of our life the fullness of joy the real meaning you know the real fulfilling that fulfillment that peace that you yes. experience amen you will not experience yes experience it in any other thing of this world yes for some time you'll be happy but after some point again you know you'll feel there's something missing in my life because true sister this only the word of god can give us that peace because the word is jesus himself and he is that word who lives his spirit lives in you and me today Amen. we can do the things which we never thought we would do it's because his spirit is right here his spirit is within us the holy spirit who comes to our rescue who reminds us who puts the right words in our mouth when we are ministering praise god Amen. praise thank god. you yes. jesus now okay. the words are becoming flesh for us amen <laughs> thank you jesus praise god anybody else anything to share praise god thank you jesus anybody needs any kind of prayer praise god okay. praise god holy spirit is taking care <laughs> <laughs> thank you jesus thank you lord okay if there's nothing more then we can end today's session and we can continue tomorrow so sister kavita would you like to do the closing prayer today so maybe sorry i'm just traveling right now no problem no problem it's okay tian you make the closing prayer today Uh, yes prayer thank you lord thank you jesus for this amazing session tonight lord 
Thank you, Lord, for each and every person gathered here today, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for already blessing us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Your word is life. It is power, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that the word that was shared tonight has touched our hearts. And the word in our heart is what is going to bring that change in our lives, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, that we are a blessing to others, everybody around us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much for a beautiful prayer. Thank Praise you all God. for joining in. See thank you, you Sister Priya. Bye. Bye. Have a blessed evening. Bye.